Hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial video about Hadoop setup using Ambari. And uh, this in this uh, video we'll talk about what is Ambari and how it can help you to automate the Hadoop installation. So Ambari overview is an intuitive easy to use Hadoop management system is an Apache project and it is used primarily for provisioning of Hadoop cluster, managing a Hadoop cluster and monitoring a Hadoop cluster. So in, in provisioning once we see uh, in the in the subsequent uh, slides that how you can do a step-by-step -step Hadoop service selection and all com completely automated service installation and without actually even logging to the box and so Hadoop uh, the Kambari key tasks are uh, deployment and installation which includes preparation of Hadoop configuration installing all Linux packages and setting up everything and is used by Hortonworks HDP and Microsoft Big Insight which is their uh, own distribution it is used for monitoring as well. You can efficiently monitor all matrices using Ambari matrix and you can do a lot of other uh, cool stuff using the REST API. And management is the key thing because you can actually uh, do a stop, rest stop start any of the Hadoop services without actually logging into the cluster. Because often the times Hadoop could be spread across multiple data nodes and it is practically impossible to log into the each node and to see where the master and, and the client is there you will do the restart. So it allows you a very nice graphical user interface to do that. So it gives a very nice one-stop dashboard for all Hadoop admins. So you can do day-to-day -day cluster management, you can do job diagnostic, you can see what is running on the yarn, you can actually troubleshoot a lot of the stuff on the log, uh, on the GUI base, uh, you can see the log files, and you can write extensive platform. Say one of the service, your custom service is not currently is written in uh, Ambari, what will you do? You can write a custom plugin. I'll, uh, I'll put a link below about that, uh, one of the example using that, so you can write your own cluster. So if uh, say something is not included in the existing Ambari services, you can write a custom. In this example, we'll take a Vagrant file, which actually, which will install the Ambari for us. So I'll just uh, do a gist file, I'll git clone it and Vagrant up. You can actually do it in your Mac or Windows. And uh, by default, this will map this to your local host, port 8080. And this is how the Ambari looks like. So you first uh, thing you log in, and you select the name of the cluster. And on that, you can actually see, you can choose, pick and choose a lot of Hadoop uh, versions. Like I'm taking the Hortonworks, so you can pick and choose which HDP you're looking for. I'll go with the latest one. And you can choose which repository you want to choose. Either a local repository or it could be a public repository. I'll take the public repo. And you can always select the option of checking the connectivity. It is very critical in case you are having a proxy network. Now. You have to specify each and every data node where you want to have the um, uh, the data node to be installed. I am picking up the Ambari agent option, not the SSH key option, because it is uh, what happens is Ambari agent. You have to install Ambari agent on each and every node, and you wait for once you put the names. The Ambari master will wait for each and every node to register with it and once the registration is done it will say it will show you the next step right now if you see it is actually waiting for the host to register and after the host successfully register it runs some checks like your java version your firewall your security these things it checks on the client machine in my example it is the same machine as the host machine so if you have a set 10 hosts you'll probably see a 10 uh, host here being selected and on each of them this these background check is being run. So right now this is running on it. So it it could take up to, it depends on the cluster side, could take longer as well. But this was a single host, so it was pretty quick. And in the next option, what we see, we, it allows us to give the choose which service you want, because in Hadoop, you have like plenty of services. In this uh, simple use case, I don't want all of these services. I'll just do a base Hadoop installation, which includes HDFS, Yarn, MapReduce and Zookeeper and obviously if any of these essential package I'm missing if you go to the next Ambari Stack Advisor advises you you are missing this plugin and you have to set it automatically select so if any of these combination you will see see it's saying pig is missing it's saying slider is missing because I selected hive and it needs pig so it automatically picks it up so it helps you to do a lot of things automatically this is your assigning the master this is a very handy tool you can actually move around different cluster different services across different node and this gives you a very nice way how you can distribute your service across different data nodes based on your resource allocation 
So I because single node, this is the same thing with the client. You can choose which which client you want to install. I'm choosing the uh, uh, default option as a as a startup. So now we are going to the next step, which is the customization. Customization is where you have to because uh, Ambari cannot do everything for you. You have to like some fundamental thing you have to set up for each service, like username, password, folder. Sometimes you can actually tweak the Java parameters, like how much is the heap size for name node. So if you have a large cluster, you expect large volume of data, you may want to bump up the, these kind of uh, values like heap size. But these heap size you can change uh, down the line as well. In this case, if you see it has a, uh, like it is expecting for a particular structure of the Hadoop name node. So if it is not there, you pretty much have to create it. So uh, depending upon your setup. So some things are custom, like a lot of people want to have a different kind of directory structure for the Hadoop. So whatever you want, you can actually, this is a one time setup. You set up for the name node and the data node, how the structure looks like. So usually depending on your organization, whatever directory tree or structure you want to have, you can have that. So in this case, I'm choosing the option, which is right now, uh, just removing whatever is not there. And what uh, right now it was doing for slash Hadoop. So I just created that folder. So once the uh, objectives are met, the red sign goes away. And now I have, uh, I'm setting up the next service. So this will, whatever you see the red sign, it means it is expecting a human intervention in order to do that. However, these are completely can be automated using Ambari blueprints. I'll post a link below about how you can actually do an automated installation using Ambari blueprints. This one is a for a manual thing. So you can actually automate these things as well. So right now, take an example, I'm putting admin admin password for a high meta store. So these things you can actually put in a blueprint, which is a kind of a JSON file, and you can deploy this to the Ambari and Ambari take this value and deploy the cluster for you. It is very handy if you're looking for a cloud-based uh, deployment and and it saves a lot of uh, time and it makes it more, and you can actually use, achieve a true infrastructure as code kind of solution where you have like everything as a part of code. And here like I'm pretty much uh, choosing admin admin everywhere just to make it simple and quick. So now once all the custom configurations are set it up and next step what it does, it shows you a quick review of what you're gonna do and then install. And it will take uh, maybe up to half an hour, an hour. And if there is any service failure, it will show as a red or yellow. So right now we have to wait. So I'm just uh, quick uh, skipping forward to once the all installation is done. So based on your cluster setup, it could take up to maybe uh, say, uh, one hour, depending on your uh, setup of the system. In this case, you see some of the error I see here. So we can actually see the error, right? It shows the mostly our Python script, so you can see the output and go to the machine. And if there is an issue, you can fix it. In this case, my issue was not, no installation was failed, only service start failed in the hive. So it allows me to go. You can see the hive hasn't started. It is a red sign. So what I all need to do is just go to that and whatever service is not started, I started. Why this happened? This can happen actually because of maybe you have a timeout and also I'm using a single server. So sometimes it could be resource contention. So these are the, these are the costs could be and you can start them and uh, you'll see while the service is being start, I'll quickly go back and check if the Hadoop HDFS file system has been set up. So I'll run a command HDFS DFS hyphen L, which actually uh, lists the list of directories in uh, my HDFS file system. And if I click on the Ambari uh, dashboard, I see all services are uh, green and Hive is coming up. The uh, green light is blipping. So, so this was the quick installation using Ambari for Hortonworks and uh, I think this is a good starting point if someone is looking for a Hadoop to get into a setting a quick up and you can actually also download the whole sandbox from Hortonworks as well. And thank you for watching uh, this video. If you like it, just li uh, like the video, share with your friends. And if you need anything, just leave the comment below, subscribe. And if you need any, if you need any kind of special video, just leave a comment below. I'll prepare the video for you. Thank you and have a great day.